Friday. It's been another long day at work. And I'm on my way home. Gonna have a smoke and some wine tonight and going gaming. Wind down. Bobby like a motherfucker suck. Can you pitch a middle finger out the window getting fucked off? Liquor, get loaded, can't control it, nigga. Pass me the blood, let me run. Bike out of service, MOT, new brake pads. On the uh, Monday, picked it up yesterday I did. The brakes. Fucking marvellous now. They were good anyway, but now it's had new brake pads on. Fucking hell. It's a one finger breaker. Breaker breaker. And I was surprised at the price. Me and Neil had a little guess, see what fucking price it would be. The last time I gave it, I took it for a service, it was 167 quid. Um, MOT's about 30 and then I've had brake pads put on. Um, so we were expecting about 310, something like that. Rung them up, went in, paid. 207 quid. Summit run there, definitely. So when I got home, I thought I'll just check the invoice. They've not charged me for the brake pads. So, yeah, I don't know what to do about that. I've got my mum and dad. My mum on one shoulder, my dad on the other. My mum would be there, ring them up pay for it, you won't like it done to you and then my dad's on the other shoulder saying fuck them lad fuck them um, so my mind's telling me no but my body so yeah I don't know what I'm going to do yet whether I'm just going to fucking leave it or uh, ring up and pay them for it because yeah, he's an alright lad so I'll have to fill you in on the next fucking video, see what, see if the conscience got the better of me. <whistles> Running a lot smoother and all, from the little service, it's nice. Yeah, we're going! Um, I'm counting down to our holiday now, me and Deb. We've uh, promised it would go away this, this year abroad, so we booked it. We're going to end up um, Cape Verde, 26th of September, 14 days all inclusive, um, which means I'm away for my 50th, which is 1st of October, which is nice. So that'll be alright. Yeah, I've not put any videos up lately. I can't be asked. I've just lost it, I have lately. Can't be asked. There's better things to do, isn't there? Um, and to be honest, YouTube is saturated with shit. It doesn't need my shit going on as well. You know what I mean? I, I watch some and I just think, I wouldn't even fucking bother. Wouldn't bother to put that out. So, yeah, that's why I've not been putting it out. Put it out if it's worth putting out. I'm putting this out. This is shit. So feel free to stop and fuck off now. This is shit. Just so I could have a little rant. I never voted last night neither. So you should never mention politics? Well, I'm fucking mentioning it. Tories are out. Made up, I am. Made up. But yeah, I never voted. I was going to vote. But because I was picking my bike up, never had my waterproofs with me. Gave a chance, 80% chance of showers in Norwich. So I thought, ah, fuck that. Fuck voting. I'll get home. Get home, never rained. Nice little different road for you watching it. I don't know why I've got R. Kelly stuck in my head. I have not now, now it's Mark Morrison. Return after Mac. He's just popped in. Flexing his shit. Get out of my head, Mark. Putting this up, because... Dutty said on, my last, on the last little video on the way home from work, it was six minutes of his life, he'll never get back with this. It's another six minutes you can't enjoy it. I can't believe you're still watching, you little knobhead. September's a good month for me. We've got um, Wales Weekend Part 2 with Motor Ave. That's on the 12th, 13th, and that. And then I'm in work for a week, a week and a half, and then that's it, we're off. We're going booking to um, 
go on the Wednesday night, we fly out on the Thursday at 9.40 in the morning, we're going booking Manchester Airport in uh, the hotel and leave car there for two weeks. I've got to get that booked next week because when I checked it out a couple of weeks ago, it was 184 quid. Um, checked it out the other day, it's 194 quid, so it's going up the closer I'm getting, so I need to get that booked next week, really. Otherwise, it'll cost me a fucking fortune, that will. But yeah, it's shit, with it being on the first year, you've, it's wank for anyone taking us. You know what I mean? If, if the kids weren't working, I'd give them 100 quid, take us and pick us up. But everyone's working, and I know I wouldn't want to fucking take someone out of at silly o'clock and pick them up. Oh, you would, you fucking dick fucker. I knew I should have gone right at that junction. Him and his little tight shorts. Oh, just to fill you in, Oggy told me he rung me last night. He uh, <laughs> dropped his bike again outside his house on the grass. Put a better front brake on. It went from underneath him. Sharon said she saw him pulling over the grass and next minute heard a noise and he disappeared. He said he jumped up quick, got it up before the fucking neighbours came out laughing at him. <laughs> it's fucking beautiful. He's number one bike dropper, Oggy is. Yeah, we're going. Fuck you, mate. Fuck my body. Oh, get out of my head. Oggy the bike dropper. Fucking still bumpy down this road. I've got my indicator on. It's for you, Og. I'll give you that one, mate. But what's turning? Right, that's it. I'm going to turn you off now. Until the next time. Got some of it boring shit. So if there's no video goes out for a while, because I don't want to bore y'all. I don't know how to turn my bike off then neither. Fucking idiot. <laughs>